it is another video and this one I'm gonna be bouncing around um, getting cat um, uh, but again in this video um, the car The, the, if I can finish talking, cat, um, or was it going? Okay, um, the car will be running again with new stuff done, not much based on performance, as in sitting still, like the scoop's done, all that's done, uh, but really to have it working well. Or working how it's designed to it's got to be moving but it, I won't be driving it today because it's kind of wet out and but that'll probably be next weekend be uh, driving running again now um, but I can't remember the last up probably not um, all the seats are back in dash is back in um, the center um, I guess console more or less is in um i got all the pads if it's not much light in here but if you can see all the pads on the bars i got the tabs made for the nozzles for the pressing system i might have mentioned that in another video but i can't remember um I think I mentioned the new battery. That, oh, that's what I gotta go back and grab. Um, mounts in, got uh, new boots on the, uh, or covers on the, uh, whatcha, my call it, the battery, <laughs> Jesus, battery boast clamps. Um, redid the rear, the trunks, um, pins, and their normal hood pins. Um, because how I had them before is it was kind of complicated with these push buttons. Peaches, let me finish. Yeah. Um, uh, well, these push buttons, uh, quite complicated because you had to do a little weird tweaking, lifting on the trunk to put it on the little pin. Uh, got complicated and didn't want to explain it and it's more reliable More efficient for these pins. I got it figured out um, But I gotta don't roll on the ground You're not come on up up kitty kitty come here Come here beaches Yeah <laughs> Trying to do a quick update watch your head watch your tail, okay, uh before I gotta bring the cat back in, but there's gonna be an update. I got, I'm gonna be working on my truck sometime. Um, got a lot of stuff done. You could be nosy, yes. Um, got the rear um, support jack. Um, yeah, oh jeez. Uh, this bar, um, the framing done for the jack um, support and the rear, um, skid, come on, I'll let you in in a minute, hold on, let me, let me get through this, please, <sighs> um, got all the reinforcements done on the, uh, this, uh, I think I mentioned the skid plate is all reinforced, this is all reinforced, um, I... For trying to do a quick update, I think that's quite it. Stop, please. Yeah. You're noisy. Okay. Um, but yeah, I uh, I got tort tire wow tires ordered um on the way and I'm pushing for the first test, not, not anything crazy. I don't know anything about the track. It's a track, I guess, built a little while back um, after I graduated from college um, at Alfred State. I guess they built the track. I know it was in the, the talks. Not much, maybe the works, but the talks. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and uh yeah going down there first and second in december it's either snow on the ground or not muddy and wet we'll figure it out but uh first test is coming up and <laughs> i'm uh i don't know how i feel i'm pumped because i can finally drive this car and do do things to this car that we're supposed to be um what is built to do so uh it's gonna you know but um i ran into a problem i put the fuel lines on free well fuel hoses basically and i ran into a problem where the um uh blah, 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 i can't think of what it's called the uh fill it i think it's fill it um did not focus maybe yeah, let's try and um kind of boogered basically and um the squirt and fuel in the engine bay when i was basically repressurizing um the fuel system um I thought I had to order fitting, didn't need to, cause I ordered different fittings. I ended up getting some nylon fuel line that's over here. Um, that basically is much softer or much more uh, pliable um, than the nylon line on the factory or the factory, excuse me, factory nylon lines on this car um and it was oh, i was fighting with it so bad um but i gotta find but uh i completely forgot that i had fittings for this that will work but i found that out when i had to redo one of the lines um oh, there it is uh perfect 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 um <laughs> uh redo one of the lines uh in the engine bay because that one smoked um so i used the nylon that i got redid it and on the drive to the gym this morning a genius idea hey how about i use the fittings that i got because i don't know the the line's more pliable than the factory and i can have it run didn't think about that so the goal is to quickly get off the line because I routed it to make sure it was long enough and basically put that on there, uh, tighten it up because all the lines are tight besides the one that's off and uh, basically fire this thing up. I ran into a little oil leak that I know what it is because I fixed it once before on the original pan, but I got the six core oil pan that I may have mentioned um, in another video. I can't remember the brand, but it's from Italy. You know, uh, Italian engine, might as well put Italian parts on Italian engine, kind of makes sense. Um, but the cat's gone. Interesting. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna bring the cat in, get to work. Um, and then after I get this fired up, I'm gonna do an update outside. Um, <laughs> yeah, outside when it was snowing this morning. Okay, uh, nothing stuck, but whatever. Um, but yeah, <sighs> I'm gonna get things done because it's crunch time basically. So uh, here we go. Got a little oil moving, got a little fuel pressure in. Check the oil again real quick. Because of the 
that oil leak even though I checked it yesterday. Oh my god. Check it real quick. Got plenty of oil. Okay, so um, I almost <laughs> lost the tip of my finger because I'm an idiot. Um, sticking my finger on things that I shouldn't be sticking my fingers in. Trying to figure out a noise that I thought is it was exhaust, but no, it's uh, I gotta take the oil pan back off, which I really like. One of the biggest things that I really, really, really don't want to do, but I don't think I got a choice in this matter. Uh, to fix the problem now because there's like a heat shield that bolts on to um, Or not a heat shield a uh, basically just a shield that bolts on to the oil pan prior to installing it um, And uh, and then two bolts go through it um, Or through the oil uh, amount on the oil pan that bolt to the transmission and also through that shield um no, the shield bolts around the, um, well, uh, bolts on the bell house or the or transmission around the basic bell housing of the transmission. Um, and, uh, it was rattling like absolutely bad. And I originally thought it was exhaust leak in one of the spots or even worse because it's new oil and kind of particular engine, but those got knocked off. And then I started looking around at kind of that shield and I'm, I, I hate, so I'm, I'm guessing uh, the flywheel is hitting that shield or hitting something, you know, making it um, basically make noise uh, or, man, I, <laughs> I, I don't get shook by shit, but when I stuck my finger in there and felt it and I had gloves on, which I think saved a lot. Um, and I, 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 way back when, I never used to believe in gloves, but then I kind of doing a lot more work with metal and stuff like that. Um, less about keeping your hands clean, and it was more or less about all well, that too, but um, working with, you know, building cars and stuff like that, trying to keep your hand clean. But more or less to protect your hands from whatever you know uh, metal slivers you know whatever else but um that i uh that all i gotta say is i'll never do that again don't stick your fingers in things uh blindly without and knowing what's going on um and i knew what was going on but i didn't realize how close it was and oof that was a yeah, I'll be I'll be done for the day after that. I've been pushing real hard to get as far as I can on this car, and uh, that was just a that was almost a mistake that could have uh, could have been bad, a lot lot worse um, than it was. But uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I uh, <sighs> um, but I was gonna I was gonna come out and just be like that you know that's it for this video. Um, and then just be done done but uh, I mean I'm not going out but I wish this there we go but I have my 2007 Dodge Ram with the 5.9 Cummins in it that aka the Warthog um, that basically I'll be resurrecting from basically the dead um, when I get back on that I don't know when um, sometime um that'll be the next uh goal is basically the tow rig until i get um for uh at least the race season um but um but yeah that's that's the next thing coming up uh get it ready for the race season um and if people are wondering oh they didn't make uh 5.9 2007 yes they did uh they made uh the difference is you got 2007 
for the 5.9, and then 2007.5 for the 6.7. They started making the 6.7 halfway through the year, putting them in the trucks. Um, so some people know that, some people don't. Some people, um, if you're diesel guy or Dodge guys with diesels and you're familiar with it, it you know you you know what I'm talking about that. Um, uh, that you know that that was the transfer year but they made the 5.9 that was basically the most powerful 5.9 factory numbers i think it was 350 horse 650 torque um but uh yeah out of all the years that was uh basically band-aid uh that was basically the year uh the ending year of the 5.9 so the 5.9 never had all, all that missions junk it was reliable so um and consistent unlike of course all the hippie epa tools that don't have a clue um what they're talking about started saying you ain't gotta have emission stuff on these trucks tuning does a lot tuning and making the the engine efficient so everything um air flows and you can get the the correct uh air fuel mixture um which um i always thought it was uh kind of like a car but things that i learned over through the year to basically you know clean tune or you know non-smoke to get the get all the uh fuel burnt in the combustion chamber is what was i think it was uh 15 air fuel ratio to 24 in that range uh obviously being 15 considerably more richer than 20 um, and then 14.7 traditional numbers being even more rich than that. But if you had the 14.7, the one, uh, air fuel or yeah, air fuel, uh, it would be quite, quite smoky. Um, so yeah, I, I'll talk about that build more, but I just want to go in chill and <laughs> just, uh get squared away because i again that uh that kind of shook me after again after the fact thinking about it and how bad that could have went um it, it could have been a lot worse so uh i'm just gonna not hit the brakes but uh uh slow down a little bit and uh get ready for next week <coughs> but i i uh but yeah uh now i know what i gotta do fuel lines are squared away um, probably the most I'll do is take the battery out. I don't want to leave it out here because it's kind of cold, even though I got a heater over there. But, um, yeah, uh, now I know what roughly the problem is, and I hopefully I'll, um, yeah. Um, okay, uh, that'll be the end of the video. Like, subscribe, and see you next time.